So Surah An-Nur, how is it uh, relevant to sisters? So we know that our, the, the, the students who take tafsir courses, majority sisters, students who take online courses with their maghrib, majority sisters, how is it relevant to sisters? And Bilal, as a macho guy who took this class, mm. how is it relevant to you? Al maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Kamal al makki So I'll let Sheikh Kamal go first. Yeah. I actually have to make sure I sell this point a lot and I make them realize this point. I don't want to just say it and then hope they catch on. I make it very clear that look at the look at how Islam honors you. First of all, yani, let's put it this way. You know, the male's reputation is important. And even if someone accused a, a, a chaste male of uh, zina, they would get whipped, right? But the verse never mentions the male, only one sh- mentions the woman. Even though it applies to the male, so why not mention the male? Only mentions the woman, and the scholar said because of the the importance and how delicate her reputation is that Islam made it the measuring stick. And so, um, I always tell people like, if someone accuses your son of zina, you you're upset. But if someone accuses your daughter of zina, you're irate. And so the reputation was was made uh, given a higher place, and and that's why if you fall from a higher place, the fall is more damaging to you. Yeah. So some of the ayat as we're going through the course, some of the ayat make it, if you don't look at it carefully, it makes it look like it's not being fair to the woman. Oh, why is this harder upon the woman than the man? Why does the woman incur the wrath of Allah upon herself, whereas the man just incurs the curse of Allah upon him? The woman is asking for the worst one in the la'an process. Well, because her position, you, you fall from here, you get more hurt than if you fall from here. So every time I'm telling them, look at how Islam honored your your reputation, and it's and it's a big deal. Like when I always give the example, this is another surah, Surah Maryam. But when Jibril came to Maryam salam and he said, "I'm giving you glad tidings of one of the five greatest prophets of Allah at, of all time," and it, she was like, "What's the due date? Let's set the baby shower up." And she didn't care about any of that. She asked one question: How do I explain this to people? Like her concern was reputation. Yeah. What if you just say, well, you know what? I don't care what people think. I know I'm innocent. An angel spoke to me for God's sake. I don't care what people think. I've got a law on my side. Yeah. But no, she cared what people thought. So that's how important reputation is. So in a nutshell, that would be it. I mean, one of the things that I got out of this, and you know, just even reflecting on the just, I guess, human nature and the line of work that I'm in, is that people generally will be easier on men for these kinds of misdeeds, if they were true, then they are on women. That's a reality, yes. Yeah. yeah. In high school, one of the things that was that made a guy look seem like a man, yeah, was a rite of passage, yeah. was how many girls he was with. Yeah. Right? Whether or not he was with them, right? If he was able to communicate that and, and convince people he falsely claimed he's still a champ. Right. Yeah. And th- and the fact that the, the way that it would affect the girl is far more damaging. And I don't even know if it's even damaging for the guy. Well, so the, so the way that that's been kind of challenged now is by this movement to for women to own their sexuality. 